Hey guys, Nomus RC. Um, I just wanted to make a newer video of AS3X programming, uh, specifically for the AR636 uh, receiver. So, <clears throat> I've bound in safe select mode before, but you're always stuck in safe select. And then I've figured out how to set an on-off feature for that to a switch. Great. <clears throat> but I also want panic recovery and I want to adjust all of my angles. So what you can do is you can download Spectrum Programmer software. And then you need this program cable right here. It's a, a Spectrum SPMA 3065. It's just USB on one end and then it's a... Uh, servo lead on the other end. It's very specific how you have to get this to detect this on the software. So the way it works is you have the software already open, you plug the USB into the computer, and then you plug the servo lead into the bind data port of your uh, AR636. Then you power the vehicle on. And then right up here, in the software, it will pop up and ask you, uh, do you want to use the settings on the vehicle or the settings that are here in the program? I mean, almost every time I'm going to use the settings that are in the vehicle. So <clears throat> you do that, you bring the vehicle in here, um, and then you want to go and download this thing called Safe Model Builder. And I'll put a link to these downloads Below. So once your vehicle is here in the Spectrum Programmer, you would go to More, and then you'd say Export, and it'll make this little SRM file, and then you can open the SRM file, so you have the Safe Model Builder zip file. This is the stuff that's in it. You just double click the EXE, and it brings this up, which is the Safe Model Builder and then you say load, and then you pick the file that you just exported from your Spectrum program. So let's say the A10. And in the uh, Safe Model Builder zip file, uh, you will get a guide, but I'll flip you through it real quick. Uh, so you wanna do your mounting position, obviously, you want to set up which switch you want. So I set the channel 7. And we'll go over the radio programming here in a second. Uh, default, this is checkmarked. You checkmark this. And then you pick your channel for that. And then I checkmarked both of these. Flight modes. So my very first flight mode is full stability. And then you have a little bit of stability. And then you just have panic. So... This is no stability at all, but we set up a panic button. And as you can see, my bank angles here. So panic mode, we set up the channel 8. And then I leave these two unchecked And then here's my envelope. <clears throat> Not sure exactly what this is. I just set the settings as they were in the document that the person made that made this safe model builder. And then same here, um, except I left this to a thousand, and that, that's what it was default. So and they say something about negative one. Anyway, that's my settings for that. So after you get all that set, then you would it'll give you the option once you make a change here that you can save, and then it's going to save and overwrite that uh, SRM file. Then you can come over here. And you can click import and then double click like let's say the a10 and then it puts uh, this new one here it's calling it a10 6 but whatever it'll keep renaming them if you keep importing them <clears throat> and if my vehicle was connected I would click select here and it would automatically load all those settings to my vehicle so we went over the settings in safe model builder I want you to see it in action so, <clears throat> right now, I'm just in normal mode where I can fly. Receiver still connected. 
where I can fly around and have absolutely zero uh, stability. But if you look, so say I'm out of control, I set my panic to this one, this switch right here. As soon as I hold it, it's going to right the vehicle, and then I can let off of it. So if I'm at a bad angle, I can hit it, and then as soon as I let off of it, it's going to go away. Um, and I have, again, full control of the vehicle with no stability whatsoever. And then this switch right here, I have set to flight mode 1, 2, and 3, uh, which is going to basically be normal mode that has literally zero stability, but I'm still capable of panic at any time. And then you can go to flight mode 2, flight mode two which is going to have bank limits. Um, but again, I still have panic recovery. Flight and then mode flight mode 3 is just full stability as if you bound it in safe select mode. Flight mode one. So just so that you can see over here on the software again, um, for your flight modes, panic is not enabled for this flight mode right here because this is already self-leveling. And then this flight mode here, I, I understand these are actually backwards. This is my flight mode three, flight mode two, and flight mode one. So my flight mode one is Panic only, use safe as fail safe, so that's it. And then there's a bank an angle limit on my middle one, and then the last one is full uh, safe mode. So just so you can see that here. And then again, this is some of the panic mode settings here where we set the channel to channel eight. So programming. <clears throat> the way that this went, just so that you guys can see here. Well, first I tell you what, let's just go into monitors. And you can see that I have throttle, rudder, aileron, elevator, and then I have my flight mode two, flight mode three, flight mode, flight switch, mode two, flight mode one, my panic switch. So my flight modes are set to channel seven. And my panic is set to channel eight. And then I have my uh, flaps down, flaps up. My flaps. Um, and then this is my gear, but I'm not going to flip it right now because the vehicle would just fall onto the floor. So let's go out of here and just take a look at what I have programmed. So obviously I have a timer, and then I bound. Right here. Now, very notable, make sure that you set this because it will bind in seven channel. It'll say channel one through channel seven. That is not enough. We need eight channels. So I set it to 10, but it would have been fine to set it to eight. Regardless, bind it first, then make sure that it's set to eight or more channels. Um, and then we would come over here. These were default made. I have some expo. You don't have to do that. Now, here's our mixes. So we have aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder, normal stuff. Uh, here's my landing gear, and then here's my flaps, and then here's channel 7 and channel 8. And all I did was create a channel, toss a switch on it, um, and leave everything else default. And again, for my flight modes, I did SB, which is right here, and then for channel 8, I did SH, which is the spring switch back there. And then, just to give you a look at those, I generally you really shouldn't need anything reversed. The only reason that I had to reverse, and I had to make changes in the uh, uh, safe select software, is because I replaced all the servos in mine. So if you still have the stock uh, Spectrum servos, which I highly advise against, um, you, these will all just be normal. You won't have any reversed. 
Uh, now we go to my special functions, my last thing here. I have override channel three, which is going to be my, armed. my throttle hold. And then as you can tell, I have a sound for arm disarmed. Uh, I have a timer. And uh, what happens is when armed. this switch is armed, the timer starts. Disarmed. And as soon as I disarm it, the timer resets. So that's what that means right there. Uh, I got tracks for flap up, flap down. And again, you just set which switch you're using. I have gear up, gear down. Uh, I have flight mode one, two, and three. I know it's kind of out of order. It's because I had a lot more stuff in here and I've mixed it around since then. I put siren to the SH so that when I panic, it goes doo doo doo. I kind of liked it. Um, and then that's all that we have as far as uh, special functions. So again, guys, I hope that that really, really helps. Uh, and as always, leave comments below if uh, you have questions. Thanks, guys.